So Emma, um, we're hearing from uh, multiple outlets on the continent that Pinilla Harder and Magda Eriksson have signed for Bayern Munich with their contracts running out here. Can you confirm that and what's your reaction? I think you know what my answer is going to be to that. You know, I'm not here to speculate on players that are under contract here, and I don't have anything else to say on it. If it is true, though, I mean, how much of a blow would it be to you? Like I said, I don't speculate on rumours across the internet and from clubs or continents around players that we're ever interested in or players that are at the club. I think you know that's not something we do here. Fair enough. Um, team news for this one against Leicester. Um, Sam Kerr, is she going to be okay? Yeah, she's going to be okay. Um, as I said on Sunday, we took her off as a precaution, but she's fine for tomorrow. Obviously, um, you have this match and the, the looming FA Cup final on Sunday. Are the players totally focused, you say, on Leicester before Wembley? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think there's one thing for sure, that Leicester and their form are indicative of top five, top six. They're the most aggressive team in the league have showed in the performance against Arsenal and particularly results the second half of the season. You know, they are a team that are fighting not just to stay in the league, but I think uh, they will stay in the league and they will uh, continue to improve under Willie. I think they're the most improved side in, in the whole of the WSL. Yeah, and what a contrast with the Leicester team that you've been taking all back in December. I mean, how big is the transformation with them? Yeah, they're going to be wounded from that. There's no question. I respect them immensely. And I think for them, they've learned a lot since then. And they will have uh, a team and players and management that will want to prove differently from that result. And I expect an incredibly difficult game. Yeah. Um, you demolished Everton in, in grand style. And what can we expect in your own team's performance then against Leicester this time? Different game. I think Leicester are fighting to stay in the league. And as I said to lose the way they have in the last two games they'll have a point to prove I made that clear to the players uh, I do not underestimate uh, Leicester in any way shape or form and I think they proved the other night against Arsenal it took a world class strike to win the game I think this will be a game that uh, will go the distance Obviously four games left do you think you might have to win all four to retain the title? Yeah absolutely we have to win all four games Yeah um... And in this big week, how do you sum up the players' sort of state of mind? Like I said, we're in a good rhythm. We like the games. Yes, it's tiring in one element um, because it's quick turnaround. But if you ask the dressing room what they would prefer, back-to-back -back games or lots of training, players will always choose playing back-to-back -back games. So for us, we just need to focus on the details that we give them in um, analysis. And then on the training ground today, thought the team delivered what we asked and the expectation for me is that we improve upon the start of games so we have to be better than we have done uh, the last uh, two games especially structurally when we've set the team up that the, the players have to perform what we are asking of them and just on Penelope, great to see her back in, in action and off the bench with a couple of goals has she made a great case for starting against Leicester Listen, we, every player is a top player in this team. It was great to see her back, scored a couple of fantastic goals, but every one of the players in, in our group are good enough to start, including Penila.